Hi, it's Pink Point. In this video, we will convert hexadecimal number into an octal number. Hexadecimal is a base 16 number system using digits from 0 to 9 and letters from A to F. And each hex character represents a 4-bit value. While octal is a base 8 number system using digits from 0 to 7 and each octal digit represents a 3-bit value. Direct conversion from hex to octal is not possible. First, you have to convert hex into a binary, then binary to octal. For our first example, let's convert the 8 hex into an octal form. First, we will rewrite the 8, giving each digit enough space. Next is to convert the hex into a decimal number. A corresponds to 10. B corresponds to 11. C corresponds to 12. And D corresponds to 13. So this is 13. And 8 is just 8. Next is to convert 13 and 8 into a binary number. So starting from the right, we have 1, 2, 4, 8, and another 1, 2, 4, and 8. 1 corresponds to 2 raised to 0, 2 corresponds to 2 raised to 1, 4 corresponds to 2 raised to 2, and 8 corresponds to 2 raised to 3. 13 is the sum of 8 4 and 1 so these are 1's and we don't use 2 so this is 0 so 13 is equal to 1101 one, in binary to get 8 all you need to use is 8 so this is 1 and the rest is 0 so 8 in binary is equal to 1000 zero, zero, zero. The next thing we do is we group these binary numbers into three starting from the right. So we have one, two, three. So this is our first group. Another one, two, three digits. So this is our second group. And this is our last group. And we can add another zero here. Or we can leave it as it is since leading zeros before non-zero numbers are not significant. So we have 011 one, one, zero, one, one, and 0010 zero, zero, zero. and let's convert this group of numbers into an octal form from the rightmost digit we have 1 2 and 4 1, 4, 2 raised to 0, 2, 4, 2 raised to 1, and 4, 4, 2 raised to 2. Then another 1, 2, and 4. 1, 2, and 4. Next is to multiply. 0 multiplied by 4 is nothing. Then we have 1 multiplied by 2 is equal to 2, plus 1 multiplied by 1 is equal to 1. So 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So 011 one in binary is equal to 3 in octal. For our next group, we have 1 next to 2. So this is 2 plus 1 next to 1 is equal to 1. So 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. And for the next group, they are all zeros. And any number multiplied by 0 is equal to 0. So this is 0. So for our final answer, D8 hex is equivalent to 330 in octal. So this is 330. For our second example, let's say we have 3 CAB hex and convert it to octal form. First is to rewrite 3, C, A, and B, giving each character enough space. 
then change CAB hex into a decimal number. A corresponds to 10, B corresponds to 11, C corresponds to 12, D corresponds to 13, E corresponds to 14, and F corresponds to 15. So C is equal to 12, this is 12, A is equal to 10, and B is equal to 11, and 3 is just 3. Then convert 3, 12, 10, and 11 into a binary number. Starting from the right, we have 1, 2, 4, and 8. Another 1, 2, 4, and 8. 1, 2, 4, and 8 for each character. 1, 2, 4, and 8. And again, 1 corresponds to 2 raised to 0. 2 corresponds to 2 raised to 1. 4 corresponds to 2 raised to 2. And 8 corresponds to 2 raised to 3. 3 is the sum of 2 and 1, so these are 1s. And we don't use 8 and 4, so these are zeros. And 12 is the sum of 8 and 4, so these are 1s. And since we don't use 2 and 1, these are zeros. 10 is the sum of 8 and 2, so this is 1 and 1, and this is 0 and 0. For 11, 11 is the sum of 8, 2, and 1, so these are 1, 1, and 1. And since we don't use 4, this is 0. So 3CAB is equivalent to 0011, 1100, 1010, 1011 in binary. And the next thing we do is group these binary numbers into 3 since we are solving for the octal. So this is our first group, 1, 2, 3. For our second group, we have 1, 2, 3. Another group, we have three digits. Another group. Another group. And this is our last group. Since our last group is zero, we can ignore this number. Leading zeros before non zero numbers are not significant, so we can ignore this number. For our first group, we have 011. Next is 110. 010, 101, and 011. Then convert this group of binary into an octal number. So we have, starting from the right, we will use 124, another 124, and 1244 for each group of binary. 1, 2, and 4. We have 1 next to 2, so this is 2, plus 1 next to 1, so this is 1. So 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Then we have 1 next to 4, so this is 4, plus 1 next to 2, so this is 2. So 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. Then 1 next to 2 is 2. Then 1 next to 4 is equal to 4 plus 1 next to 1 is equal to 1. So 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. Then 1 next to 2, this is 2 plus 1 next to 1 is equal to 1. So 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So 3 CAB hex is equivalent to 3, 6, 2, 5, 3 octa. So this is 3, 6, 2, 5, 3. And for our third example, let's say we have F, A, C, E, 2, X, and convert it to octal form. Okay, the first thing we do is rewrite F, A, C, E, 2, 
giving each character enough space. Then convert FACE hex into a decimal form. So F corresponds to 15, A corresponds to 10, C corresponds to 12, E corresponds to 14, and 2 is just 2. Then convert them into binary. So starting from the right, we have 1, 2, 4, and 8. Another 1, 2, 4, and 8. And 1, 2, 4, and 8 for each decimal equivalent. 1, 2, 4, and 8. 15 is the sum of 8, 4, 2, and 1. So these are 1s. 10 is the sum of 8 and 2. So these are 1s. And we don't use 4, so this is 0. We don't use 1, so this is 0. 12 is the sum of 8 and 4, so these are 1s, and these are 0s. 14 is the sum of 8, 4, and 2, so these are 1s, and below 1 is 0. And to get 2, all you need to use is 2, so this is 1, and the rest is 0. So, F A C E two in X is equal to one 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 zero one zero one one zero zero one 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 zero 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 one zero in binary. The next thing we do is we group these binary numbers into three since we are solving for octal. So for our first group we have one, two, three, another one, two, three and another three digits okay three digits per group we have and we can add zero here or we can leave it as it is so we have zero one 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 zero one zero one one zero zero one 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 zero 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 one zero then convert this group of binary numbers into octal so starting from the right we have one two four in one two four for each group of binary so it's another one, two, and four. One, two, and four, and one, two, and four. Next is to add all the numbers associated with one. So we have two and one. Two plus one is equal to three. Then four plus two plus one. We have seven. Then we have only 2, so this is 2. Next we have 4 and 2 is equal to 6. Then 2 and 1, so this is 3. And we only have 4, so this is 4. And we only have 2, so this is 2. So. F A C E two in hex is equivalent to three seven two six three four two octal. So for our final answer, we have three seven two six three four two octal. So that's how we convert hexadecimal number into an octal number. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and tap the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video.